seen. Okay. I was only looking at half the graph before. Yeah. Gotcha. You're right, 617, my bad. Heck <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And you'll get a This video, I'm going to show y'all the installation of the uh, Pro Sport boost gauge on my 2012 Mustang. I'm going to do the uh, Roush uh, vent pod installation, everything. And I've also got the adapters since they don't really come with the adapters for the uh, VMP supercharger kit. This is the uh, fittings that I've gotten. I'm going to put these, I'm going to take this nipple off right here and uh, screw it, screw this into this end over here, uh, Teflon tape and everything. And I'll show you all here in a little bit where the, uh, where this actually goes near the uh, supercharger for the vacuum line going to the boost gauge. Alright, so this is going to be the end result of the adapter kit that you're going to use to put, see, and these are the parts that are left over from this fitting, and then you just put them together, and that's what you're going to have. I'm going to show you where that goes in just a second. You're going to need a uh, 3 16 Allen key to remove this and everything. Pretty much, if you can see, right down there, wow, it's a little bright, there's going to be a little Allen key. See if I can get, you can actually see a lot better. Go straight down into it right there. That's where it's going to be at, and you're just going to remove that little fitting down there. It's got a little slot down in the bottom of it. So you can remove that. Don't have to worry about it falling down inside. That's the piece you're going to be removing and replacing with that. So get that uh, Teflon tape put on there so we don't have any leaks and we'll install this exactly where that was at and then we'll move on from that point. Alright I got this, uh, got this in here now as you can see right there a little brass fitting. I ended up having to uh, the threads was a little different as you can see this is a 14 OD and I ended up having to re-thread the um, end of that with a uh, re-thread it with a 1 8 MPT. I don't know if you can see that. That's what I ended up having to re-thread the end that goes inside the uh, supercharger because the uh, threads were a little different than what came out. So once I re-tapped that, I was able to make it work. So got that working now. Um, at this point on, I'm going to start working on the uh, run the line. And then once I get the line, where the gauge is going to go, then I will start on the install of that and rewire. Alright, now we've got the line attached to it. As you can see right there, it's a little clear line going to the brass fitting down there. And I've just ran it around, <clears throat> tucked it in with the other electrical lines going around the back side of the supercharger. I'll show you on the other side where I've made it to. Uh, kind of tucked it in, directly in behind. You can see that right there. In behind this, right here. Slowly going around and I've got it to right here. Next thing I've got to do, I've got to take right there, plastic cap right here at the end of the screwdriver. I've got to take that out pop a hole in it for the uh, vacuum line to go in there so that's what I'm going to be doing right now getting that knocked out of there and everything so so we can get that knocked out I've got this hole drilled I'm trying to 
work it around the line. So you can get the line in there. Got right here. Got a hole now. So just gotta get this all fed in that hole. Yeah. So pretty much I'm gonna try to hit it two more zip ties before it goes in there. Maybe I can hit it with just one right here. That'll be what I do. Just hit it one more right there. Alright, we're gonna do some more Mustang stuff. Not came over here to get an inline filter and we're gonna work on some Hyundai Prelude stuff. A little uh whatever Acura. They're the same, right? A little uh, install of turbo we've been working on. Uh, I don't know if you can even really see it. It's a little dark over here. But uh, we've been working on this for a couple weeks now. The best part is trying to get everything hooked up. We have wastegate. Wastegate. Sticker bomb. Through the hood. Oh, so yes. this is at least 5,000 horsepower in stickers plus. <laughs> Another 10 for that. Okay. All right, we've had enough. We're going to go back to some Mustangs. All right. Day two. Installing the uh, pod and everything. So pretty much just using this right here. I know everybody says you just pop it off. It's not exactly you can grab it with your tips and pull it off. I wasn't able to. So I got this kind of hook in behind it. I can pull it out. Makes it easier on me. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. Is, uh, popping it out with this. Everything. So once I've done that, everything should snap right on out. Flat out a little bit. Let's go. So that is out now. Now we just got to break all these down. Tabs to get this all apart to be able to put the Roush uh, pod insert in here. And then we will move on to doing the uh, wiring side of it. Alright, now we're going to be popping this out. Start with the uh, chrome clips. I know it's got multiple clips on here, but you just pretty much push those tabs in, it slides right out and everything, so it's fairly easy. Pop that right out. We'll be done with this for a little while, and then we'll start taking all of this apart. Now pretty much right here, we're going to pull these longer ones right here you gotta get this chrome cover off start getting the blades out of your way it just pops right off too and you can just slide these all out right here they just pop right on out and then that'll get all of those out of there and that's when we go and do the insert with a Roush pod. It's already got a little tab to kind of let you know exactly where it needs to go. So that insert just like that. Okay, so right here it's got an L. This has got an L. Make it easier on you to line everything back up by doing that. And then it should just snap back together just like that Let's get this back in and that is all you got to do Sorry I skipped ahead a little bit, but pretty much getting ready to do the electrical and everything. The, uh, take this out right here. And you got this metal plate underneath the steering wheel just for easier access. I'm going to take it off. Looks like it's uh, 10 millimeters that I've been taking that off with, so get those popped off and everything real quick. there 
probably should just come right out. Get it out of the way too. All right, so now got the gauge installed and everything. Got it all pushed back in, the cluster and everything. Now I'm working on the wiring under here. I've installed my ground to right there. You can see I got the ground wire connected right there to that bolt. All right, now I've got, like I said, I've got the blue wire coming off of the uh, gauge. I actually had to tap it to a little green piece of wire. I didn't have enough blue. And then you tap it to the blue, I mean the, uh, sorry, you tap it to the purple and white going to your uh, headlight switch. And that will get you the blue running light on the gauge pod. I'll show you right here. Right here's the normal running light for it. I'm gonna flip the switch on, and there. Now you have blue. Kind of goes with the theme I've got going already, so. Yep. And that's that. I'm gonna button all this back up, and we're gonna take it for a drive. See what kind of boost we're putting out. First daytime test drive. With a new boost gauge installed and everything. Gonna kind of check it out. Installation of the braided clutch line, and we'll see y'all next time. See you later.